What would you do if you had unlimited resources? What would you build? What would you automate? What businesses would you come up with? You should consider this because even if we don't complete our work, the research is going towards the rate that these large language models will soon cost up to a thousand times less than they do now or even more. And in fact, we've had certain breakthroughs uh, that would allow us to reduce our own costs up to a thousand times using things like double caches and training models like Llama, for example. So I know GPT-4 is currently very expensive, but I would consider what you would build if you had access to the same tools, but with unlimited resources, because very quickly that's going to be the reality. We're not going to focus too much on optimization because we're working on releasing our foundational model that we've been working on for the last year and cheat layer desktop next month. This is our flagship product. And then we'll go back and based on feedback, optimize where we need to. So expect the cost of, uh, testing, experimentation, running agents to reduce uh, exponentially over time. However, we're noticing small, medium businesses that are deploying agents to, for example, automate sales or build products are al already reducing their costs um, by orders of magnitude compared to, for example, hiring that sales rep for the same amount of hours, whereas now they can spend that time on things we can't automate yet, like analysis, due diligence, meeting customers, closing deals or building entire products. With recent updates, we've trained agents to not just generate the product for you, but even deploy it live on the internet within 30 seconds. And so this is something typically you would have to hire software engineers to do for you for tens of thousands of dollars. And now you're doing it for orders of magnitude less, for 30 cents per entire product rather than tens of thousands of dollars. So really exciting stuff. Um, I'm excited to show it for to you now. We have several exciting updates this week. Sorry for the short delay. I actually had a little bit of an injury earlier this week, but I'm doing fine, I'm okay. Um, anyways, we have finally one-click embeddable voice agents. Forget chatbots. <laughs> These are actually embeddable agents. I'm pretty sure everyone is tired of hearing chatbots say, as an AI language model, I can't do this. However, agents are actually useful for building entire products, lead generation, custom automations, basically doing anything that we've been doing before with Project Atlas, the entire ability to scale it horizontally and vertically to anything that you can do manually is possible to sell through embeddable agents now. All users will have access to embeddable agents that you can easily one-click deploy, and I'll show you how to use them in a second. To make it as easy as possible, all agents in the next update can be embedded on any website in a single click. So for example, you can say, an autonomous agent designed to analyze and summarize information, specifically in this case, the latest research on GPT-4. I can extract data from various sources, summarize key points, and provide a cohesive conclusion based on the analyzed data. You can also speak to the agents. I'm a real estate agent, how could you help me? AI, I can assist you in various ways. I can help you analyze and understand the latest trends in the real estate market, provide insights on property values, and predict future market trends based on historical data. I can also assist in managing your appointments, responding to client inquiries, and automating your paperwork. Furthermore, I can help you understand the implications of the latest research, such as GPT-4, on your business, and how you can leverage these advancements to improve your services. So these agents are capable of more than just speaking. You can actually have them go perform automations like building products, returning research, generating leads. So that if you're looking for building an automation agency, this is one way to stand out from everyone else who's selling chatbots right now. These aren't chatbots. These are agents, embeddable agents. These are the world's first embeddable, embeddable agents that we know of that actually can perform live automations for your customers. Exciting stuff. And users who have access to the agency automation plan will also remove any of this branding. So you can deploy that. Uh, all users have access to this update in the next auto update. Next, I'm super excited to show off the real major updates to building products using Project Atlas. Hit Alt S or Option S, for example, on google.com. You can do this on any website. You can also ask it to take the current website style and copy that or alter it or fix it. Or you can build an entirely new website. So you can say things like, build a landing page for a real estate firm 
and use unsplash for stock photos. And just like previously, it'll start building it live for you. However, it takes it several steps further with the latest update. It's going to start streaming the result and building it live in the background in an iterative fashion that allow you to add features, make functional tools. That's all exciting. But if you integrate GitHub and Vercel, it'll actually clone a template in GitHub, publish your product, and then deploy it to Vercel live on the internet for you. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up that really quickly uh, while that's running. So this is kind of hard to find in GitHub settings. Go to settings, go to developer settings, and then personal access tokens, and then classic. And then generate a new classic token. And then give it access to the repo and to write packages. And then call it something relevant with no expiration so it doesn't randomly stop working and generate that token. Remember to save that token in a text file and then go to Vercel, log into Vercel. Vercel is entirely free. I don't know how they stay in business. This is amazing. They allow you to build um, like seemingly unlimited free websites, deploy them. Uh, to click tokens, generate a new token that has access to the full scope without an expiration. Copy both of those keys and go back to your agent's dashboard and you'll see a new section to add GitHub and Vercel. Once you add these two important keys, you significantly update the ability for Project Atlas to build and deploy products. Okay, so you can see that it's generated the output. Cool. However, if we go to our Vercel, this is the local version as you can see in the URL. If we go to our Vercel dashboard and in GitHub, you'll see that it's created a new GitHub project. It's cloned a template that we've set up. This is actually very sophisticated and difficult to do entirely in the browser, but we trained agents to do that. That's kind of cool. And then in Vercel, we've taken it two steps further. It's now deploying the entire product live for you, literally within 30 seconds. So you're going from prompt to product within 30 seconds. This is amazing, all right? So watch, within a few seconds, this is gonna be done building. And then once it's done, we're not done there. We can actually update it just by speaking to it live and instantly deploy that update to our customers. So it's like hiring a super powered software engineer that'll instantly update your product for you. Whereas you would have normally have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to do something like this. If we check an open router, this last website costs like 20 cents to build, 10 cents to build. Amazing stuff orders of magnitude less expensive, entirely building and deploying the product for you now. Pretty cool. And you can see it's finished. It'll automatically open the website for us, but I'm just gonna jump there. And here's the live version on the internet. Now, if you look at the URL, you can see this is actually hosted on the internet now. Uh, HTTPS, SSL encryption, you can send this all to your friends. Pretty simple though, right? Now let's add features to it. This is really the magical part. You'll be able to iteratively add features, tell it to change the font, add any sections, even add functional tools. Users have built functional games, tools, quizzes, lead magnets, things like that. So let me give you an example. Um, add a functional mortgage calculator. And now it's gonna build this functional mortgage calculator live in the background. And let's just check out the output in Vercel. Okay, and now here's our updated version in Vercel. You can see that it has the HTTPS. I'm gonna add a loan amount, interest rate, and you can see it calculates an actual functional tool for us. It actually allows you to build entire products. In fact, that's how we built this entire interface. We didn't write the code for any of this functionality. Project Atlas generated all the code for this real-time search and even the agent's dashboard. So you can actually build entirely sophisticated products. You have access to the same tools we do for building these products now and to instantly deploy them on the internet. Really exciting stuff. Now, we've had several breakthroughs on accident this week because I injured myself. I had to basically sleep a lot, so I took a big step forward. So by, just by virtue of the fact, by looking at everything at a high level again, we had some very interesting breakthroughs. Like I mentioned, we now can automatically detect errors, have Project Atlas do the trial and error process, so users should be more successful the first time in the next auto update. And we also had a significant breakthrough that finally allows us to realize a vision or an idea we had when we first built agents. Basically, imagine if you had agents that could build whatever products you want and deploy them to the internet, just like we just showed you how to do on, on Vercel. 
These agents soon are going to have the ability, as we increase context limit, to copy entire services like Monday.com, Canva, or Salesforce. Those services aren't really technically impossible. Like, there's nothing like that you have to invent to build them. And these agents know exactly how to build them using open source technologies, which means that within a year, even if Cheat Layer doesn't succeed in this, everyone is going to have access to basically a personal software engineer who can build personal versions of these services that'll be much better. And let me just explain, because these services, they don't have the ability to build features for everyone. They have to build features for the aggregate. So these personal micro products will basically be self-hosted, so they'll be more secure. They'll be cheaper because they'll be running locally on your devices. You won't be charging yourself, obviously. It'll be completely free for you, but also it'll be using open source technologies to build all the same technologies. It'll be a growing valuable data asset because you don't lose all that data. The service isn't gonna sell the data back to you. You actually keep all that data now. And it'll have custom features that these services won't be able to build. You'll be able to add custom features and we believe that within a year, our customers will be building custom versions of all these products like Salesforce, Monday, Canva, self-hosted for themselves that are even better with better features that are completely free. And uh, just imagine what you would do, like I mentioned in the, in the start of this call, what would you do if you had unlimited resources? That's the future we're quickly gonna see, even if Cheat Layer doesn't build it. So I think that we have the potential to be a hyper compound startup, but much more generally, it realizes just the core vision of making it easy as possible for our customers to build and run their businesses. Really exciting stuff. And we came up with a cool breakthrough just recently that allows us to finally host all those services locally in Cheat Layer Desktop to finally realize that vision. We didn't expect it to happen so soon, but now all these products that you're building, yes, you can deploy to them to Vercel, but now you can also host them locally for yourself as well. And maybe, yes, if we set up our own DNS, you could start selling them. But these micro products idea, I think is very compelling, very interesting, we're excited. We're not focusing on it. This is just a consequence of what we're doing, but we've designed it, designed Cheat Layer Desktop in such a way to completely support that future if it happens. Really cool, exciting future. Let's get to it. See you next week, guys.